So welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time? Uh, lots of side things. Lots of side things. Well, besides being able to transform wherever the hell we want. Yeah, we got the Blade of Evil's Bane. And that we can transform into a wolf thanks to a present left by Xanton. Man, I am realizing how overcast this is in the morning. Holy crap. Yeah, this is not just your guys' side or my recording. This is the game doing this. God, that's really annoying, actually. <laughs> and this time, we are doing... Oh, God, a lot of side things. We are gonna... We're literally not gonna progress this, t <laughs> this time. There's so many things that have opened, us, opened to us now that we can transform into a wolf whenever we want, and that we have the Master Sword and the uh, claw shots to us. Also, what happened to my heart? I don't remember losing that many hearts, but anyway. Hopefully this grass can be some? No. Okay. Uh, oh, right, I can't take care of that yet. Right. We'll take care of that Howling Stone later. I forgot that we still have the Hero Shea to go and talk to. Uh, that was just peachy. So, yeah. So this time we're going to be doing a lot of side things, and, well, if you don't care about any of the side content, then, by by all means, you can skip this episode. But And then, I, at least the nice thing is that uh, I'm past the uh, sickness phase of last week's uploads, because, yeah. yeah, that was not peachy. I do apologize if you guys got really annoyed with the whole nasally sounding thing, but I felt good enough to record and I didn't realize that I sounded that bad. Eh, well, not terrible. I wasn't terrible, but was not 100%. Let me transform into a wolf. Uh, the bird will see me. Chill, Midna. Can I really not? You're complaining because of the bird? Really? I have to go all the way over here just to transform? Ah, such an annoying caveat with that. This is stupid overcast is gone. I'm kind of delaying it because, uh, yeah, we do need it to be nighttime at some point. And uh, heh, we're striding right in the morning. That's not peachy, but we want to talk to this guy. Oh, you're back. Oh, there was something else you need. Uh, yeah, listen to the rules. This attraction is all about popping balloons as you move. Er, yeah, as you move toward the goal. It's stupendous. The balloons are worth different amounts of points. Watermelons one, oranges three, and strawberries ten. Oh, and if he breaks the same type of balloon, or uh, yeah, same type of balloon twice in a row, you'll get double the points, but only up to ten times. If you hit a wall and fall off, then you get no points, zero. You're, you screw you. Uh, yeah. So we have to do a little mini game with you. Uh, oh, I think I just have to call the. Well, that works. Yeah. We gotta participate in this guy's little mini game. Now I know I can skip that, but I just wanted to show it for the sake of, well, we've never done that as a wolf. And the only time we've ever called a Kargarok as a wolf has been a Shadow Kargarok, but yeah, you could just summon a normal Kargarok as a wolf if you so wish. God, these things are kind of creepy. But bird friend is ours. So now for a really annoying minigame that, well, I think is annoying. I don't really care for it, to be honest with you. Onwards and upwards. As Mr. Squawkabilly said, yeah, we're playing a little minigame of hit the fruit. The more combos you hit, the higher the combo meter will go up and more points you will get. And we're pretty much just aiming for the high score. As long as you get above 10,000, you're good. And you got these uh, watermelons, which I'm pretty much just saying go for the highest amounts. There's really no point in screwing around with like the smaller amounts. So if you can help it, try to go for like the strawberries and the oranges or whatever these are. Uh, I need to try to go down here. There we go. And this is not time, so you can take your time through this. But how did I not hit that? You saw Link go through that. That was bull. Okay, whatever. Uh, and also, I don't know why, but this mini game has always reminded me of uh, Ratatouille on the PS2. Yeah, that's very specific, I know. But yeah, pretty much just aim for the strawberries. You don't really have to aim for anything else because here's the thing. If you keep comboing into different fruits, you'll just not get as many points. So there's really no point in screwing around with the other fruits. Okay, I'm just going to skip that one. Hopefully, I get enough on the first try. Otherwise, that's going to be really annoying. So let's just keep on moving here. But yeah, pretty much the only way to get all the points you need is through the strawberries. Uh, please ignore the watermelon. Uh, the plague of my... Well, that's just peachy. 
I mean, it's not a peach, it's a watermelon, but still. Oh, uh, we're halfway through. I can get a lot here. Uh, this thing is so hard to control, man. I could maybe make back the points. Uh, no, we're at the very end. Crap. Uh, I may just press quit here. How much is this going to give me? Yeah. I'm just going to reset it. Start over. Attempt number two, because, yeah. Eh. I mean, at least in the very beginning, just go for all of these fruits. I don't even know what the hell they were. They look like oranges. I'm going to say they're an orange. But, like I said, if you can get all the strawberries, you'll get the points no matter what. It's just going for lesser amounts and swapping the combos is not good. Because you'll just constantly have a low amount of points. So, you have to have over 10,000, which is really annoying. So, Alright, so there's one strawberry. So, let's head down here. I'm going to try to just purely focus on the strawberries because they are the money makers and hopefully the game doesn't screw me again like it did last time yeah there we go jesus i don't know what that was all about all right, don't hit the water because you can actually fall into that all right grab this fly up a little Ugh, gross all right there we go not too bad i don't know why i picked up speed there i think i need to boost through that left cavern though i think that's what i did wrong before all right doing pretty good all right let's boost. Uh, uh, okay, I can skip one, that's fine. Uh, I thought the okay, I thought it was inverted, but apparently not. Oh, we're good on the points, okay. We can go for whatever we want now. So yeah, the minigame's pretty easy, it's just, you have to make sure you're getting the strawberries. If you miss, like, one or two, you're, you just get screwed. And yeah, it's inverted controls, because pilot wings, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I made a reference to pilot wings, of all things. Alright, get these... I don't know why I'm going for more points, I guess just for posterity's sake, but... Yeah, the minigame's really not that bad. As long as you're focusing on the strawberries, you're fine. So... And at least... At, at the very least, at the very beginning, so... And as he said, you can only combo up to 10 times, so once you have 10, then it doesn't multiply further from there. But you did pretty good. 12,000. And this takes us all the way back up here. Which is pretty convenient. Hello, Squawkabilly. I know that's not your name, but you look like a Squawkabilly. What? No way! 12,000 points? You got more than 10,000 points. Wow. Here, take this. But don't think I'm giving it, uh, giving you this because I like you or anything. I will literally eat you from here. Piece of heart. Yeah, that's required. Uh, now, this is completely pointless after the fact. You can take this to go up here every time, too, so... You don't have to constantly uh, teleport up from Zora's Domain or anything like that, so. Now, here's the fun part, at least for me. And for you guys, you just get to see a time lapse. We have to wait till nighttime. Because there are Poes everywhere here. And this takes, I mean, last time I checked this, it was five minutes straight of just sitting here. So, yeah, this is going to be fun for me to edit, so. I'll meet you guys back once it's nighttime here. God, that's annoying. Man, nighttime takes a lot faster here for some reason. That was only like two or three minutes. Maybe it's because the minigame takes up a lot of time or something? I don't know if that's the case, but that's really strange. Yeah, anyway, uh, over here is our first po of business. Yeah, well, there's gonna be a lot of these guys we can take care of right at the gate. Up, uh, up. Uh, how did I run into his sight? Really? All right, give me your soul. You're mine, boy. So now, we gotta make our way over to Zora's Domain, which, uh, yeah, man, if the time moves this quickly, I gotta move fast, because, uh, maybe the time moves differently depending on the area you're in, because that's very strange that it just, like, it goes all of a sudden evening. I don't know, I think many games have to take part in how much time passes. In here, you can already see, well, both of these. So let's go for this bottom right one here first. Also, I love all the Zoras just chilling in the lake. It's great. And a random fish. So yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, we'll just uh, burst on through here. Thankfully, we don't have to really deal with any of the bugs. There's not that many bu bugs left in the game, so. Mostly just because most of them are at the beginning of the game. Do that. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Wow. And another soul is ours. 
Nice indeed. Next up, just hop on over here. And I will say too, for something soon, you are going to want a thousand rupees max. It's not imperative to have it at this moment in time, but there's going to be something that I did forget a little bit ago that I'm going to go back and get. So it's going to be right after this Poe though. So hello Poe. Can I hit you from here? Yes, I can. Wow, that was cool. And you die. Nicely done. Now, really quickly, since we can teleport. Uh, that is not what I meant to do. I mean, it's fine. But, uh, there we go. All right. Warp. There we go. I'm going to quickly warp into the throne room real quick, because that's just faster. But we do want to be in here for a second. Now, this is not needed whatsoever. Also, I love how it just puts us as a wolf right in front of the Zoras, and the funny thing is, you can really go right behind here and transform into a human. Pretty funny. Yeah, they don't suspect a thing. So yeah, we could have grabbed this earlier, but again, it's not imperative that we go and grab this right now. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Um, oh, I can step on this, that's right. So yeah, if we light these two torches, yeah, chest appears, and kind of a pointless chest in my opinion, but it is here if you want it. I might as well just show it since we're here. Uh, let's put on the, where's the boots? There it is. Boop. And we'll go over here and grab our loot. Yeah, it's just 50 bucks. But like I said, we do want a thousand rupees here soon, so that's why I'm grabbing them now. And plus, I'm gonna show, it, uh, show you guys where it was. Anyhow... Now that it's still nighttime, we could still take advantage of the time and get, take care of some more Poe's. So, we are heading all the way back to Kakariko. It's been a while. Finally back on to Kakariko. Now, be careful in Kakariko if you're a wolf because I think... Talo is up there still. I don't know if he's asleep. He's probably up there. If you go into the town as a wolf, he'll scream his head off and everybody will run inside. So just be careful if you're a wolf in Kakariko. You don't really want to, you know, petrify everybody. But we want to go to the graveyard. Now, the graveyard has a couple post holes. Uh, first of all, right off the gate. Yeah, he's been here the whole time. It's just, it's been only daytime when we've been in Kakariko, so we haven't been able to take care of this one. So, obvious puzzle is obvious puzzle. And if we hit this gravestone, this is what I was remembering a long time ago. At night, yeah, inside the grave is a Poe. Which kind of makes sense in context, but okay, really? Freaking, I hate the way these guys move. How am I not hitting you? There we go. There's one. Okay, and two. Jesus. You guys are annoying. But yeah, that's what I was remembering from a long time ago. Postal. And before we leave here, um, do I need to be... Yeah, I, I do need to transform back into a human. Okay. Into Kakariko proper. Now, there's a couple of pol uh, couple postal... Uh, yeah, postals in town. What am I hearing? Are there Gways out here? Oh my god, there are Gways. I didn't realize there was Gways out here. But yeah, we do want to go to the area above Barnes's shop. And you can see the little kid Goron selling his wares at night, so pretty nice. Oh, I can actually grab something new from you. Um, yeah, I want to do that. Hey, Barnes, I need you to <laughs> let me take er, Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Did I just accidentally give you... I gave you all the damn bombs. Uh, that's annoying. Okay, fine. Let me go and buy the other thing again. Damn it. Just, I might as well just buy the bombs here. So yeah, he has new bombs. Bomblings. Which I'm just going to max out on. Pretty expensive. Um, Can I buy more? Oh, I, I guess I can buy more. And I need more bombs. That was just stupid. Oh, what? Wait, okay, hold on. What what did I sell you? Oh, I sold you the water bombs. 
Okay, um, that's fine. I need to sell you the other bombs then. Oops. Because I want to have one type of bombs each. Okay, so... Bomb wings... Up. How do I go down? Oh, you have to hit uh, right all the way. Okay. So, yeah, I don't need to sell you anymore. Don't know why it's a single click. It does. It's not like a are you sure button. Okay. Give me the water bombs. Give me 15 of them. That's kind of stupid. There's another source of rupees I'll show in a little bit, but... Yeah, good thing I grabbed those rupees when I did. Um, I do want to show the bomb links off, though. Those things are really, really good for something later. Extremely good for something later, but we'll see later. God, how many times can I say later in one sentence? Jesus. I mean, the bomb links are actually very overpowered for an, uh, a specific enemy in the future that we will run across, but not for a long time. Anyway, where the burned building was when we destroyed Barnes' uh, I guess shack... Uh, it's a postal. Yeah, I guess somebody was in there when that thing exploded. Hmm, <laughs> that's kind of dark. Can I dig this up? Hearts. That's even more gruesome. And yeah, you can already see the next Poe. And I should preface this too. Towns and cities and villages do not progress time. So, Kakariko Village, Ordona, or Ordon Village... Hyrule Castle Town, etc. Those will not progress time, which is pretty nice. So, we don't have to worry about killing these Poes in a specific amount of time, which is pretty nice. And we want to transform back into a human. Now, we gotta go to the Death Mountain Trail. What the balls was that? Okay, that's one way to not lose art. Yeah, we're going all over the place for these pose, but again, they've been here for this entire time. We just haven't been able to deal with them. So, remember that Goron that yeeted us up to get a heart piece a while back? Yeah, there's a Poe directly behind... Well, not behind him, but if we turn around from where we went to the heart piece. So, now we just gotta go and grab it. Which means we have to run all the way to up the DMT, but I'm pretty sure... I, really? To get, get, rid of, get rid of that. There's also something else we can take care of here since, well, nah, I'll take care of it later because it's kind of an awkward place. Uh, hello, Goron. I need you to yeet me to a spot. Sup, bro? Uh, yes, I want to go up. Quick and simple. Thank you, bro. Or brudda, as you call me. Wee! There we go. And yes, you can't transform into a wolf in front of Gorons because for some reason those count as people who would freak out. Up, oh, that was a weird camera angle. All right, hey buddy, I need you to not be over the ledge. Where are you going? Uh, no, okay. Um, that's fine as long as I get back up there. Yeah, and if you don't hit, uh, kill them in time, then they just get back up. Man, these guys have the worst hitbox ever. Holy crap! Like I'm trying to not eat my. Really? This is such an awkward spot. All right. Die, asshole. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Give me your soul. Thank you. Jesus. <sighs> okay. Now that we're done with that, I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna run down here and then transform back into a human because I think we do want to be a human as long as I don't... I don't want to piss off the people of Kakariko, so I might as well just transform into a human. There is a quick thing I want to take care of, though, to get some more rupees, because, again, we are going to need rupees. So, I'll go show that in a second. So, if we walk all the way back here, this is kind of out of the way, but since we do have the claw shot now, we can actually go and take care of this. If we head all the way down here, back where the village elder, or the shaman, I should say, was camping out with the kids in here. Oh, right, the glaze are here. Okay, really? Please don't tell me I have to kill you. All right, well, whatever. You're dead now. If we shoot this with an arrow... Right, it has to be bomb arrow. Uh, bomb arrow, bomb arrow. If we hit this with a bomb arrow... Yeah, you saw that. Transform into a... Who would see me? Who's here? Okay, transform into a... No one is here! What do you mean? Let me transform. Jesus, Midna. Okay, there's like literally nobody there. Who, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm gonna midna hop up here. And uh, yeah, if we hit that with a bomb or a bomb arrow, you get a silver rupee, 200 rupees. Yeah, that's why I didn't really feel bad for spending all that money on bombs. This <laughs> is pretty nice indeed. 
So, I guess I can't really transform into a wolf here because people get mad and people don't like it if I transform into a magical beast for some reason. We do want to head out of the, uh, I guess, wait, why do I always put it as western, oh, okay, back here, never mind. Okay, I'm stupid, yeah. Because there's two western exits, and the way I label it on my notes is I labeled the far northern one as northern, even though that's still technically going to the west. Yeah, I'm talking about down here. Um, which, yeah, we won't need, actually, we do not need an opponent for this, because we can uh, just go through the gate. Okay, transform into a wolf. Hopefully I have enough time before morning breaks, because it's going to be really annoying if I don't. Hmm. So, where we gotta go now is, yeah, you can see the Poe, right on top of that little cliff side there. How do you know who I am? Also, man, it's been a while since we saw you, creepy postman. Oh, please don't waste more of my time. Greetings, Mr. Link. I have a gum to deliver the letters. There's two. Dear God, I've read all of them and probably used them as toilet paper. I'm onwards to mail. You've got issues. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, one of them... Oh, yeah, this is Uku stuff. And then... Some folks I want you to meet, so come to my bar right away. Be a powerful allies to you. That's actually a good letter. That tells you exactly what you gotta do right now. Now, luckily, you can transform into a wolf in front of enemies, because they will not freak out. I don't think they care, but... I digress. Still kind of annoying that you have to go through the whole caveat of hiding behind places so that NPCs can't see you transform. Because, for God forbid, you can't just transform whenever you wish. But anyway, up here is another Poe, thankfully. Hello, Mr. Poe. I need to kill you, like, immediately. There we go. And die. Another Poe is ours. Now, a while back, we did blow up a rock. Yep, there's the cave. This was a long time ago, like, before we even came to Kak... Actually, no, this is right after Kakariko. Because we had to have the bombs for this. Head inside this cave once again. Now... Oh, God, we have to be a human for this and have a lantern, huh? All right. Yeah, a long time ago, I did mention that we were coming back in this cave for something later. Well, now it is later, so... There is a Poe. Is it down here? No, it's further down. Okay. It's in one of these corridors where we have to kill this Poe. Yeah, these Poes are scattered, but again, there's a lot of them in the game, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal if I wasn't going for every single one of them, but for the sake of the LP, I'm going for every single one of them. I might as well just get the damn lantern out. I have lantern oil if I need it. Okay, so let's keep... Uh, okay, not down there. I think it's further down. I mean, most people don't even go for the pose, so... There is that. Uh, he should be up here, right? Yep, there he is. Alright. Transform into a wolf. We shall murder this Poe. Thank God. Alright, kill you. Man, twice in a row. Alright, I thought you had a little damage resistance or invincibility frames, but no. 20 Poe souls. That's pretty nice. And thank God, because, uh... I was kind of kidding. I was kind of getting concerned with uh, how many puzzles. I'm really bad at counting. So anyway, now that we're done with that, I'm just gonna book it out of this cave. We still got a couple more puzzles to deal with. I'm not gonna go back to Grangle. Actually, I think Grangle's the cat. I don't remember. Uh, G uh, Giovanni. I think that's his name. Yeah, we're gonna be going for more puzzles uh, because there's still a lot we can go and grab because you know they're collectible. So what we want to do now? Thank God it's still nighttime. Head on over to North Farron Woods. Back on over here. Luckily, there's not many here, so it's not that bad, but there are a couple that we need. Well, not a couple. There's like one in North Farron Woods. So, out in the swamp. Yeah, this stays as a swamp forever. There, uh, remember that center area that we went to a long time ago? We gotta get back there, because now there's a Poe there. So, let's hop down here. And we want to hop directly across to where we can find the Poe. And how would you know that there was a Poe here? I don't know. Tss! Seriously, I commend the people who found all these Poes, because there are a ton of them. 
Anyway, also I'm pretty sure this is one of the few areas where the Poe will always be because I don't think this part of the swamp is indicative of time, so I don't think it matters. Anyway, a Poe soul is ours. And uh, I guess for time's sake, I'm just going to teleport over to North Baron Woods again because we have to... I don't, I don't know, actually, hmm. Would this be the closest place? I guess it would, right? Yeah, all right. To South Farron Woods. I'll meet you guys there. On over here. We gotta get back to the Hyrule Field, yeah. And I figure this is just the easiest way to... That is not what I meant to do. This is probably just the easiest way to go and take care of this. Also, if you're wondering what the horse grass does as a wolf, it still summons a Pona. It just makes it... You just have to do the little QTE minigame thing instead of just blowing the grass. Also, this guy's going to get terrified of the wolf, but whatever. I don't know, he was too high to realize that there was a wolf that just ran past him. But anyway, finally up to Hyrule Field once again. So out here, I'm really hoping it stays nighttime because... Holy crap, that would be annoying if it doesn't. You can see directly ahead... Oh, wait, no, that's a bug. Okay, um, I think it's out here. It just says Hyrule Field, so that's... Okay, there it is. I see it. Yeah, on this little plateau across from us... I, I guess that's not really a plateau, is it? I guess elevated landmass. There we go. There is a Poe right here. Hopefully it gets close enough. Uh, okay, Hard Rock, I don't need a... Whoa, hell, what the balls... Uh, okay, he's gonna stand up there. That's not great. Okay, hey, buddy. I need to kill you. Poe? Poe? There we go, first try. And kill your ass. Man, the frames are dropping here. Jesus. That was weird. Okay. So now what we gotta do is, uh... God, do I wanna take a Pona? I don't even know where horse grass is, so I'm just gonna book it. We wanna go towards Lake Hylia, because there is more stuff for us to go and take care of yeah there is there's just there's so much crap man i'm sorry but so many things open up right off the gate so towards lake hylia and hopefully we can okay how much of this area is here jesus I forgot how much land there is to this game like i'm pretty sure this is bigger i mean it's definitely bigger than ocarina of time but when it comes to the amount of land there is this is probably the one that had the most amount of land mass Okay, so now that we're over here... Oh, God, no, we're not going to have time. Crap. I could try. I probably should have tried to take a Pona, but it's easier. Actually, we already have bomb uh, arrows. Okay. Shoot the crap out of these. Shoot the crap out of these. If I'm fast enough, I can maybe get that Poe. Because I do not want to go and do this all over again. And wait till... Oh, God, it's getting morning. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Head over here, quick. Oh, I need you to stay. All right, yeah, please beat the crap out of me. I don't care. As long as I can get your soul, I do not care. Okay, hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Boink. No. Come on. Oh, oh, and it's playing the happy, cheery music. Screw you, game. All right, well, I can at least go and take care of this. There's a grotto right here. Uh, that's... Oh, hello. What the balls is happening here? Definitely don't have the Zora tunic on. Yeah, we haven't seen these guys before. These are Bubbles. Yeah, very applicable name for these uh, Avenge Sevenfold, uh, Sevenfold Skulls. Because seriously, these are literally just the Avenge Sevenfold logo. Anyway, but they're called Bubbles officially. So yeah, you got Ice Bubbles and Fire Bubbles, which... Alternatively, you can just shoot them with a the bow and arrow, but it's not that big a deal. Also, you could just spin attack to one-shot them. Uh, buddy... I think you can also claw shot them. Uh, if this guy would be aggroed, that'd be great. Really? There we go. Yeah, you could do that alternatively. Uh, can you die, please? Thank you, Jesus. After all that, there we go. Ugh, that's gonna suck because I gotta, I gotta wait till nighttime again. Ugh, I hate that. I hate that requirement so much. This gives you Highland letter M. So, yeah, let's hop out of this grotto. I gotta wait for the damn Poe. Mm -hmm. I'm mad now. Uh, that really sucks that I have to wait 
all... God, yeah, I have to wait the whole time now, too, huh? <sighs> well, so much for getting away with trying to do it all in one night. I'm surprised I got that many pose in that one stretch, so... I wonder, am I good enough to just snipe these guys? I wonder. Well, there's one headshot. Now, this is the true kicker. Wow. Those guys suck. <laughs> also, I'm not going to open this chest because I think they are rupees, and I don't want to test if the game wastes the rupees or not, but anyway, I am going to wait here. Actually, hmm, what should I do here? I could end the episode off here, actually, because I have to wait here off screen anyway, so, and we've done a lot today as it is, and we still have a ton of more things to grab, like, yeah, in the next episode, at least half of the episode is going to be grabbing more pose. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end things off here so that we can just keep it on the straight shot. So, I'm going to be residing here until it hits nighttime for those who are following. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, we'll be getting even more collectibles now that we have more collectibles to grab. That makes sense, right? <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.